So today I thought I might do a review of leashes and collars that I've had experience with. Uh, I've been in dogs my whole life. I've been training since I was 10 and I've gone through lots of different evolutions of leashes and collars that work best for me and work best for my dogs. It depends on sometimes it's the dog that is dictating a different need for a different type of collar or lead. Um, I'll start with my mainstay. Um, it's a limited slip, so it's fabric, it's soft, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, break the coat. So I have a coated breed, so with Bernese Mountain Dogs, these are nice and lightweight. Uh, it's a very important thing to me that they're limited slip, so it, it actually tightens. I keep my collars fairly tight on my dogs. I don't ever want my dog backing out of a collar, and with a limited slip, it allows me to put it, fit the collar on snug, and I have this so it, it takes it even a little bit tighter so I don't have the risk of a dog backing out of collar. Super important when I'm walking my dogs. Love these, they're nice and lightweight. Um, drawback is sometimes they get too loose or I don't have enough control of like let's say a large male dog. So I love these. Um, for large male dogs, I have gone to a rolled nylon or rolled leather would work as well, but it's thicker and I can grab it in a thick coat uh, in, the, in the mane of the, of the male dog and I have control. It's a little bit more control because it's a thicker collar. It is a choke collar. I will say it is imperative not to leave any collars much more a choke collar on your dog when you're not working and training with it. My dogs don't wear collars um, on any in, in my house. Um, when we go outside the house, they wear a collar that I can control them with. And uh, and if I'm going somewhere for overnight, it has tags on them. So if they, heaven forbid, get loose, I can grab them. Um, another type of collar, I don't use these anymore. Um, you can call them a training collar, you can call them a choke collar, um, many different terms for this. This is very typical for obedience. A lot of people still use them. Um, I tend to... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, excuse you. Yeah, she doesn't like them. Come here, Deuce. Come here, guys. Chase is telling him off. Are you going to help? <laughs> Hi. Chase wants to help with the video. Chase, get off. You're not helping. She would fall off in my lap. Come here. Come here. She's tired of Deuce smelling her because she's going through it false pregnancy right now. The other type of collar, uh, I don't have my snake collar out here. Shoot. Oh, yes, I do. Um, snake links for show collar is what I prefer, and there's so many different type of show collars, but with this type of collar, it's a thicker, um, it doesn't actually bend in half where the choke chain um, does bend in half. So choke chain, a thin show lead choke chain, it's really thin. Um, that way, I like a thicker collar, again, for control on a Bernese Mountain Dog or a light breed. Um, but it's it's control, it's fine. I, I love the snake collars. That's what I predominantly use in the ring. Um, I wanted to show a collar, well, a buckle collar. So I think these are good for little puppies until they start wanting to pull out of a collar. And the buckle collar is a simple buckle. It's good for tags, but again, you don't want to leave collar on your dog if they're playing with another dog or in a dog run. Um, the big thing about this is that they can slip it and so you want to make sure it's fairly snug but not too snug. So, But they have their place and, and I have used them and sometimes for training I'll use a buckle collar too. I would be remiss if I didn't bring up a pinch collar. Prong collar has a couple different names. If you have never had training on how to use one of these correctly, I strongly recommend not using them on your dog. The majority of the people do not know how to put them on their dog correctly and fit them correctly. They're not supposed to be down around the throat and the trachea. They are not a walk your dog type of lead necessarily um, or collar. It, it just, I really strongly suggest working with a professional if you feel like you need to use a pinch collar for control. Um, you probably should be working with professional trainer if you feel like you need to use a pinch collar because they can help you with training and getting control of your dog. These are not for everyday dog walking. These are not for everyday use on a dog. If you're having problems controlling your dog, I strongly suggest going to classes, getting a trainer and working through the issues. Um, these are not, they can be fair to a dog um, if used correctly, but this is a large 
um, one and probably way too big for even a Bernese Mountain Dog. So I'm um, not sure wh why I have it, but I do and I've got a collection of collars that I no longer use and I, I just strongly suggest not using them if you haven't had proper instruction on how to use them um, for your dog's sake. It's not necessarily fair. Leashes, I'm gonna move on. Um, I have loved my small nylon leashes because I can, oh, deuces after a bird. Um, I can wrap them up in my hand. So for me, I have small hands, I can wrap them up in my hands. I tend to work with leads around my hand. I can wrap them, I can wrap this around and I have control and Chase loves to play pole with it. It's her, it's her leash, she thinks they're a lots of fun, don't you? And you can play and I can say give, okay, leave it, good girl. It's a nice small snap so it doesn't weigh down the collar. Rope leads, this is a slip lead, this isn't a leash, it's a slip lead, so it uh, just goes over, yes, you're very helpful, over the head, not in your mouth, and have control, and it's a slip lead, it's just meant for walking like it shows, stop, okay, thank you for your help, she is, she apparently loves the rope lead, you're a good dog, <laughs> just stop, they are Sounders colors and we're big Sounders fans. Rope leads are good. Sometimes they're too big for my hands. I have small hands, so. Um, rubber leads, this is a rubber leash, and rubber leashes are awesome because you get really good control of your dog. You have control of the leash that doesn't give you rope burn because you have traction. Okay, sit, sit. Okay, Deuce, you're not helping either. So you have really, <coughs> really good control with that, and this is also another rubber lead that I just came into recently. I've got the peanut gallery here. It's made out of old bike tire. Um, I have lots of good grip on it. I don't ever lose the lead out of my hand. I don't get rope burn, so it doesn't hurt if the dog is pulling me, which they shouldn't. Stop. Um, but it is rather thick. The collar is thick, and so my dogs don't necessarily like a, a thick collar. Um, but I love this leash for the control I have, and plus it has a bottle opener on the leash, which always comes in handy. Um, fabric and fleece leashes are great for hands, like if you have arthritis in your hands. Um, you need a softer leash, you need a bigger leash that you can get grip on. These can be very, um, very beneficial. Um, a very, very dear friend made uh, this leash with a... With a uh, custom made ribbon for tag for Westminster with photos from our experience at Westminster. So that's it's a very special lead uh, that Jeannie Whittensmith made. Um, and last but not least, our dear flexi lead. So we like to walk on our flexi lead. There's a time and place for stop. Oh my gosh, she loves flexi leads. I go on trails with my flexi leads. I am very good at controlling my dogs on flexi leads. However, even someone who has 20 plus years of experience walking dogs on flexis, I still can get caught off guard and they're so easy to rip out of your hands because if your dog catches you off guard and hits the end of this flexi, you can, push, you can be in a lot of trouble. I have so much help today. It's awesome. <laughs> Um, so again, flexies are not for walking in crowds, they're not for walking in business places. Uh, they are for out in a forest, out in a you know place where you're not near other dogs, where you can't get clotheslined, um, and also you can't rug, uh, rug, <coughs> nice now they're the ribbons, but they still can hurt if they rub somebody's leg and get somebody. So not a lot of people know how to use flexies very easily. Um, so I recommend not using a flexi unless you're out in the middle of the forest with a person or with your dog by yourself. Um, hard, hard to walk with other dogs with a flexi. Um, hard to control your dog. I wouldn't walk a young dog on a flexi either. Okay. And so that's kind of my long and short of the collars and leashes that I'm familiar with and I like using. Uh, like I said, there's hundreds of leashes and types of leashes and bungee leashes and I don't have control when I'm on a bungee leash so hopefully that's helpful happy to answer any questions um, and uh, happy walking your dog but get them out there and have some fun with them enjoy